Welcome back to Vice Grip Garage. A guy, family, and friends are in Indianapolis for Cletus and Cars. We've got an action-packed weekend. We're fixing to take Liberty the Chevelle drag racing right now. We've got the first burnout competition at Charlotte the race truck, and we're gonna be racing around the oval here, the Indy 800 and nitrous powered crown fix. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We're uh, drag racing the Chevelle versus, no, I'm kidding. That would not even be, <laughs> not even be a race because I would smoke them. <laughs> nope, not even close. Anyway, Liberty the Chevelle still set up as an eighth mile. We're in the test and tune grudge match bracket right now because we're just going to do an eighth mile hit in the car, hopefully a couple of them, just for fun. And they have a street car shootout going, but we're not going to be getting involved in that. And I'm actually going to let my... Good friend Chad drive the car. I've uh, raced it a few times. He's helping all weekend. I thought, why not throw him in the car? So we test fit all my gear. He fits fine. Ran him through the car. It's a nice, easy setup. So he's going to go out and take a couple hits. The tricky thing about this car is that shifter. I didn't have time to fix it. It's pretty sloppy in there. Um, so the one, two is kind of hard to get. We might just do one, three shifts. Um, it's still fun. It's still pretty quick. It's still a nice little ride. See if we can get this front tire off the ground again. Got top fuel stuff, funny cars. This is awesome. And then after this, they're qualifying right now. They're gonna start the streetcar shootout stuff, which we're not in. Stands are really filling in. The event hasn't even officially started yet. Chad's all suited up in the car. Tire pressures are set, installing some heat. Car sounded good. Chad, first rip in the Chevelle, what'd you think? It was awesome. That's a pretty sweet old girl, isn't it? I just can't believe how hard it hits off the line. It's like, <laughs> pulled the front tire off the ground. Didn't even think that was gonna happen, but. Yeah, for being fun. this heavy, I mean, really the only thing out of it is the rear seat, carpet. It's all, still got door panels, headliner, everything. Yeah. It's pretty wild. What'd you run on the eight? 8.1. 8.1, nice. <laughs> I think that's faster than I even ran. I'd have to go look. Well, that yeah. might be faster. I'm sure it was. Yeah, I mean, you're definitely a better. First time I drove the car. <laughs> Lucky. <laughs> yeah, well, that's awesome, man. Maybe uh, maybe we got to do this more often with the old Chevelle. Definitely. Just leave it eighth mile and just keep running the thing for a while. <laughs> <laughs> got the one and only Dr. Tunamal in the house with a new patient here. He's helping me out tune this thing. And um, we're setting up. Well, first of all, we got to update the dash because that's out of date. We're setting up this that little handheld. We'll have to do after, but this at least we'll be able to do some data logging now. So. Nice. And that's just going to ride with me for the first burnout. Yeah. Huh? yeah, that way you don't have to bring your computer with you and ruin it. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> so, plan is first skid, data log, we'll skid this around a little bit, and then he can actually get some solid data and do his magic on the beep boop box. Yeah. All seems, there. Seems pretty close. But. Yeah. Definitely gonna need some fine tuning, so we have some data to go off. Yeah, it's way better already. So when do you guys go up? I think they start at five o'clock, okay. and I'm an open, so I'll try to go early so yeah, we can I don't have. Know if you guys got any test grips? Or... I don't think so. But yeah, it's, trucks running pretty good so far. I mean, we're gonna be in open class and rivals and maybe tandems. We'll see if we get her dialed in to do. I got three sets of tires essentially: these and a couple burners. So. Was in such a big hurry packing to get here, I forgot to grab my big Harbor Freight tool case and I needed to change some configurations on wires down here. I just wanted to say thank you to Boxo. I ran next door, they got a tent over here and uh, borrowed us fancy dancy toolbox here, had everything we needed to get it done. Nate's about got us whipped, he's updated everything. 
truck sounded good. We could day log with the little beep pooper now. So. Hey. Yeah. All right. Well, we just finished up the driver's meeting for the burnout competition. We're going to be starting in the open class since it's a new vehicle and it's just the way it is. And then if we do good there, we'll try to move up. But right now we're changing the tires, just putting some old burners on. These are the wheels that came off of the Packard. And then we got some Conquer Assistes, Addises or whatever butt tires are on this. They're nice and skinny anyway. And I got another set of those as well. So the goal is just to go out, feel the truck out. We got issues with power steering I gotta figure out or learn. Issues with brakes and the fact that it only turns left. So that's gonna be interesting. Maybe I'll surprise the people and try to turn right. <laughs> That'd be neat. So we'll get these on, haul up some stuff in Diamond Rio, get over to the other side of the track, and we're gonna be hunting down there for the night for the burnout competition. Really weird, but we were late getting in line. We are almost dead last. There are 46 cars in this class. It goes all the way up there, and yes, that's an airplane. That's approved. So we're gonna hang tight. They said if we have time, we get to run, but the ones in the back, it's questionable, so fingers crossed. You don't have brakes and I don't have brakes. All right, go. Oh, yeah. Diamond Rio. Now the official push truck of Charlotte. All right, that's good.
rig back over to the tent here. Solid first run, not bad. We got one tire off, the other one didn't. It only had about five, 10 seconds left tops. I think there's wires coming out of it actually. But when I came around to that corner, hit the brake pedal one more time to reset, come back to the center, no brakes. Completely gone and at the same time simultaneously, I saw a puff of smoke and fire coming out of the captain side of the engine bay and then it dawned on me that we melted brake lines and then I had brake fluid shooting directly on the header so I just turned and cooked right out of the box as fast as I can went around the corner up there where they had some fire extinguishers it's out we got a little bit of damage not a ton I'll show you real quick so right down in there it's hard to see but that's where the T well yeah they're just completely cooked Oh, just got me in the eyeballs right in the retina. Anyway, that's where the fire was. Melted the brakes, no brakes. <clears throat> but listen, the engine is great. Dr. Tutamal pulled the tune. Everything's fine there. Transmission is solid. Rear end held together. Overall, the truck did really good. Look at all this rubber it threw up in here. It was just raining rubber down on me in the captain's seat there. This is the one we popped, the set over here. Yeah, sure enough, look at that. Cords hanging out of that one. Wasn't much more. Glad we last second fabricated a little piece there. Kept almost all of the rubber off of the electronics over here, thankfully. Just that little shield right there, so. No busted panels, nothing else broken. No melted boots. It, Max got the 218 degrees right at the end, which is fantastic. Dare I say, oh, we might have had a little bit of an oil leak here. It must be coming out of here somewhere. Watch. Oh no, the the dipstick popped up. That's really it, guys. We could tape that down. That ain't bad. Solid first run. I had a plan. I was telling Chad when I went in there, if the truck's running good enough. I was just going to try to walk it around the wall, get used to the brakes, get used to the steering, try to start understanding the truck and learn it because you only have so very few opportunities to actually practice, which is usually a competition, unfortunately. And that was going well. It went really, really well. I felt like fairly quickly I was understanding where the truck wanted to go and how it wanted to drive. So I'm super excited overall. We just got to patch up some brake lines, finish out a couple small things in the truck that we got in a hurry on. Bummer on those lines. I even poked fun at them multiple times, you know, when we started this build. And I guess in the back of my head, I thought if they're running around a track 100 laps at 7,000 RPM and they didn't melt, why would they now? Well, because big block. So completely my fault, no big deal though. We'll put some stainless steel ones in or something like that and get that fixed up. But solid first run. I think definitely much better than our first pass we had in uh, Independence. Throwing these on quick so we can get on the trailer because those are <laughs> set in so far. We'd have to move the ramp so it'd just be a mess. But I wanted to show you guys this too really quick. The bumper is working. It got a little, little tiny tweak in it, but not bad. Right here I had a controlled wall tap. Now in Independence, that would have been goodbye quarter. I felt, I mean, it felt the same as I've hit walls in that car and it caused significantly more damage and here I'm not really seeing actually I think that was just the way we had it I don't think it did anything so that's great that is working how's it going buddy well good morning it's the day after the rigs loaded up on the trailer here kind of a rainy day but that's okay we're still racing the day Again, all the Crown Vicks lined up up front in numerical order. We got folks coming in at about 10. It's early right now, we're trying to get everything set up. The ladies are over at the tent, Jessica and Haley, getting all that set back up after the storm last night. We're gonna have a really fun day, and I'm told it's rain or shine. We're racing these Vicks around Indiana Annapolis. Motor speed, Lucas oil speed, there was a raceway behind me. This one's a flat track. It's not as banked as the Freedom Factor, so it's going to be pretty interesting. If it's raining out, it's basically going to be a drift war, which I'm all about that. It's more like a dirt track, so I'm looking forward to it. There goes my rig right there. Morning, Sam. How you doing? Good, how are you? 
good. Pretty solid rigs here. Chevelle ran an eight one on the eighth. Did a great job. Hopped the front tire, wrinkled the radial. Truck did a great job as well. Just gotta get the brake lines, figure out alignment. And uh, I've seen some of you saying we could put a controller on this or we can drill it out. So maybe we can modify this to work better. Cause that was a handful just trying to get this thing to steer correctly. We're gonna wrap it up with some trash bags here because it's supposed to rain off and on pretty much all day. So we're just gonna kind of wrap this thing up. Try to keep the digitals protected. Of course, that won't be so bad when a guy can body this. And yes, I do have plans to eventually put an entire body on this thing and might even do a special wrap, some sort of livery on it. Right now it's got the uh, custom waterfall paint job. They're not drips, that's intentional, it's 3D. Okay, uh, who was it? Bentley was helping me paint this up right before we left. So she's got some runs in it, all right? Tracks looking good. They're already out there blowing some water off of it. They're moving cars out there. And pretty soon, those stands are gonna be full. Diamond reel just tuned up this morning. Got something going on with the ignition key. Left us kind of stranded yesterday, but I forgive it. We're headed to the infield. We got a driver's meeting for the Indy 800 at the Crown Bridge. It's supposed to be down here. I was supposed to be at the Niddle booth, but they're not set up yet. So we're just going to go wander down to the center here. Get this driver's meeting over with. Right here, you can see how much flatter this track is compared to the Freedom Factory. It still has bank, but it's considered a flat track. So the right front is gonna be key. Well, fellas, as expected, we ran the car. Listen, it's a great car, it handles really good. When I was flat footing it almost all the way through the corner, because I knew we we're down in power from the last race, and I still qualified 15th, and that was everything that car had. They're inverting the field, so we're gonna be starting up front, I think like P3 or four, and you know what that means, we're gonna get the rear door knocked off, but that's all right. Uh, we'll let guys around, we'll, we'll be competitive, but we're gonna have to you know, end up letting guys around and let them race the race. I'm just happy to be here and blessed for the opportunity. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Tell you what, I'm gonna have that AM radio cranked and a smile on my face, I guarantee that. Car's looking good, the other side's a little rocky. Uh, Cooper Baghetti is starting up front, and Dr. Parker, who ran the fastest time, is gonna be starting last. It's gonna be interesting. My boy, Derek, how are you feeling? Who here's a Vice Grip fan? Woo! Oh yeah. So Derek, your foot is doing better, huh? It's a lot better. Yeah, thanks for all the work you guys put in these cars, made them safer. Appreciate it. Hey, brother, we're trying. I mean, it's like we did this triple door bar roll cage, and then we were melting feet. It was like, it was like one thing after the next. But I think now, thanks to you connecting us with DEI, we now have some heat protection. So hopefully it will not melt your foot. Yeah, I think these cars are absolutely dialed. Give me five laps, I'll be up front. Five laps and Derek will be in the front, guys. We'll see. We'll see.
Grace, we saw. As you can see, a guy and his family right units. We made it home. Liberty Chevelle and Charlotte's hiding back there. They're back in the barn. What a fantastic weekend. I have never, that's the biggest Cletus and Cars, I think, on record. I've never seen a crowd like that before. Met so many amazing people, so many of you fans. Thanks for coming out, spending your hard earned money, supporting an event like that. Got to meet so many wonderful people. It's my favorite part of it. And the cars did good this weekend. Charlotte, first burnout ever. Excellent job. We popped one tire about 10 seconds from popping the other. Just some brake line repairs. We got some good data on that. I think it's going to be a heavy hitter. I think we, we really found a recipe there. It's unique. It's different. It's reliable. It's going to be the thing once I figure out these brake lines. And we're going to be good to go there. Liberty Chevelle, Chad wheeled that. He did an awesome job. Car's new PB since I've owned it. 8.1 and the 8, that 3 inch exhaust. We got the uh, Flowmaster FX mufflers on there. A little bit of race fuel, chooch drop a little bit. So that ran that 8.1. I'm really happy with that. And the Crown Vic race went better than I thought as well. That thing is down on power big time and it was missing. And I kind of knew we weren't going to be way up front of the pack just based on that. But six, I'm happy with that. I cut a tire, a steer tire. I can't remember what, I think we were about halfway. I saw a headlight going caution laps. I go, boy, whoever hits that big headlight, that's bad news. Guess what? I was that guy and it was bad news. Came around, I think it was uh, turn three, and bam, hit that headlight. I just couldn't get off my line. And sure enough, that right front went flat. Changed that tire out, got back in the race, worked my way all the way back up to sixth again. And that's as far as that motor would pull us. I could not gain an inch. I tried all the lines and it turned out the high line was the fastest. And I got bolted up with Cletus. That was amazing. We were door to door on the high side for what seemed like a dozen laps. It was so much fun. We were both hooting and hollering and it was just an incredible time. Look, I know a lot of you have, you know, jobs and families and, and responsibilities and all of this. But if there's any way you can make it to one of these events, please try to do so. They are just incredible and you're surrounded by like-minded people. The VGG community is out there strong and they are the best people in the world, I promise you. Well, that's going to do it for Cletus of Cars and the Indy 800. Thanks guys for watching. Appreciate it so much. And there's a revival coming later this week still.